says here, Spring Chinook is king salmon of the Columbia, better than silver sides and bluebacks. So where's the wreck? Says here, Chinook brings 60 cents a pound of the cannery. Now, if the average weighs 25 pounds, that's, uh, that ought to be coming up by now. Unless we're lost. How can you get lost on a beach? 15 bucks a Chinook. And if a man gets himself only 10 salmon a day, that's 150 bucks. You remember what they said in the Seaside? Remember what? The beaches in Oregon are public highways. You can drive almost all the way to Astoria, but watch for the wreck of the Peter Iridell. That's the marker where you turn inland. So, where's the wreck? Same can I brought you last month. Stale, but it's hot. Thank you. Mama says people often do just the opposite of what they really want to do. Get out. I can't just walk out of here. As though it's nothing to me. widow who sits around with folded hands and grieves a lost husband. You even look at her one more time and I'll treat you the way you treat a shark in your nets. I'll shoot you. Do we understand each other? How about a drink, Anna? Just you and me now that the kid's gone.
looking for Captain A. Gustafson. Which one of you is Stiles? He is. Is the captain here, ma'am? Well, the ad did not say captain. It said A. Gustafson. I'm Anna Gustafson. You're Murdoch. Yes, ma'am. Well, come in, come in. The papers you mailed me, your seamanship, navigation and piloting seem sound enough, but I didn't see anything on motor care. If there's anything I put store in, it's motor care. Would you like to go outside and spread your lunch on the carburetor? A lot of difference between a car engine and what drives a 40-foot trawler. Suppose you're 20 miles outside, pounding a hungry sea, and your engine fails to develop its rated power. You expect a runner into a garage and wipe it clean with a rag, like you might have done just now, for all I know, just to impress a small town widow? Well, I guess the first thing I'd do is see if it were misfiring. Now, that could be caused by water in the fuel system or a loose connection in the ignition wiring, failing fuel pump, too rich a mixture, sticky valves. That's if I was lucky. It could be a damaged prop, engine and shaft out of alignment, ignition timing, a blown gasket, a crack. We'd uh, fix it, Mrs. Gustafson. 20 miles is too far to swim unless you're a salmon. And if salmon had engines, we wouldn't be putting them in cans, would we? Well, just don't stand there. Bring your gear inside. Breakfast at 7, dinner at 12, supper at 6, whenever you're ashore. Estiles, you went to college? Yes, ma'am. I can always tell. That was Toika at the top of the stairs. My daughter. Uh, I missed something? Not your type. Well, I'd like to keep an open mind. They're all freckles and pigtails. Eight, nine years old. Toika! Toika! Set two more places for dinner. Your room's upstairs to the left, second door. miles out. You can just see the south jetty. And those white caps in the distance, that's the bar where the sea and the river meet. They say it separates the men from the boys when they pass over that bar and go beyond. Shipwrecks all over this coast. We've got an eight knot ebb tide. Sometimes the wind is This tour isn't reaching you? I got hung up on the guide. A remark like that, Mama would consider a very encouraging sign. Well, she did kind of throw us together. I guess she wants a happy ship. It's the first night in six months that I haven't had to do the dishes. Does it always stay light this late? It's past nine o'clock. Does the daylight inhibit you? Now, what would Mama say about a remark like that? 
She thinks you're a good catch. The season hasn't opened yet. What do they do to poachers? People who uh, jump the gun. Well, I was just doing a little advanced trolling. Are you always so glib? Am I coming on too strong? Strong, I don't mind. Glib, I resent. There's no feeling to it. I believe in feeling. Deep, deep feeling. That's all I want out of life. To care. To care passionately. I collect birds with broken wings, fish out of water, people locked up inside themselves. They need me. I don't think you need anything or anybody, Mr. Stiles. Don't judge, Tyka. And don't think the world is as beautiful as it looks from up here. Most people don't want to be saved. Their greatest ambition is self-destruction. You confuse me. Good. I'm glad you answered Mother's ad. I'm glad you're here. his problem. Are you working for me or not? Do you want me to take you out on this board or not? That's Carnal Scarlet. Stay clear of him. Don't look at him. Don't get around him here on the wall, at the bars in town, or especially outside at sea. Sunset? Why don't you shut up? Ooh, it touched the nerve, huh? <laughs> I like this place. I like these people. Especially nine-year-old ugly ducklings with pigtails and freckles and not my type. Four years ago tomorrow, in some shallow gravel bar up some mountain stream that feeds this watershed, a pink egg moved and a baby salmon popped free. Grew and swam a thousand miles to the Pacific. Now, four years later, he's coming home full grown. Right now, Buzz, he's out in the ocean heading in on a radar course and he'll keep right on coming. Past our hooks, past the gill nets in the channel, past every obstacle man and nature can throw at him. Until he finds a mate. Then they'll swim up that mountain stream to that same gravel bar he left four years ago. To breed, to die, to leave his own flesh there, 
So next spring salmon can feed. Swim out to the ocean again. Monotonous, huh? Where's the romance in your soul? 41, 16, Skyway Drive. Don't wait up. Well, aren't we the sly one? Keep an eye on those gravel bars, old man. I'll walk you to the car. I want to get the inside story. Case, you wouldn't mind if I gave you a little tip, would you? About what? About Miss Meter Maid. I have a whole new theory for you. She's uh, expecting all muscle and hair tonic, so change your style. What's all this muscle talk I did with my smiling teeth? Be the intellectual. Oh. Change your pace. She'll never see it coming. It'll dazzle her. Tell her you're an existentialist. That's a tip. Well, it's very stylish. She'll love it. Well, suppose she asks me what it is. Tell her you don't talk about it. You live it. Then give her a little rimbo. Look, I just met her. What is all this rimbo jazz? Well, the greatest, like the genius of all poets. I know the lightning opens skies, water spouts, eddies and surfs. I know the night and dawn arisen like a colony of doves. And sometimes I have seen what men have thought they saw. I've seen the low sun, fearful with the mystic signs, lighting with far-flung violet arms like actors in an ancient tragedy. You know what she'll think? The fluted water, I'm out of my scar away. I've dreamed green nights of dazzling... <laughs> You. I saw you with Taika. On the boat, in town, in church. I saw the way you looked at her. It's a big world, friend. We don't have to crowd each other. Now you're one of the apologizers. One of the talkers. Poetry on a stinking fish dock. You go for her, huh, lover? Oh, why not? She's full of fire. You ever notice her eyes? You ever notice the way she walks? Notice her mouth and full lips? You know, you've got a dirty mouth. Something you don't know, lover. When she was 16, she won the state beauty contest. Now, to win a beauty contest at 16, you really got to be something, huh? You go ahead and keep your date. I have something I want to say to this gentleman. No, I think I'll stick around. These dock fighters, a special breed. You got to enjoy cracking ribs and splitting skulls when you mix with these wolf rats. They're cut out for better things. Me, I like it. See how much good your poet Rimbo does you now.
want to stop me. There's one way. Kill me. Every time I hit him, my elbow came loose. But he just laughed, and he threw me right off the pier again. Finally, I tried using a chain on him, but he just wrapped me up in it and threw me right back in the Hudson. That's when I went for the axe. But you didn't use it. How could I? He ran. I don't believe in axes. Then you don't know guys like Strokage or Carno, do you? He was just drunk. Probably forgotten it by now. Sure. Okay. It wasn't just a fight. He fought like... Like he wanted to kill me. Like he didn't care if I killed him. West, southwest. There's a spot there I want to cross. I marked the block on the chart. Busy intersection? If you keep your lines well surfaced. If you cross them at sea, it'll be a lot worse for you than ignoring my warning here on this dock. He'll sink you. Believe me, he'll sink you. Good luck. Go, boss. property, so don't give me that jazz about him being your problem. The minute I get ashore, Mr. Mr. Carno Stalig and me, we've got business together. He won't fight you. It's me he wants. Just watch. Something more than Toyka. How many wharf rats have you known who ever heard of Rimbo? Carno has. Well, I don't care what he wants. It's me he gets this time. I'll hook up a new set of spoons.
I've been studying poetry. You want to hear me recite? On the dock. are red, violets are blue. It won't work, kid. What's the matter? You afraid to climb the beanstalk? The punishment should fit the criminal, not the crime. You're one of the innocents, kid, one of the unspoiled. And you're one of the apologizers, right? <laughs> if you were up a nicer hog, we'd cast out from St. Marlon. talk about me at every table tonight. Is that what you want, Toyka? I heard about what happened. Don't see him anymore, Toyka. But why? Because I ask you not to. I should see only you? That's something else, but not him. Todd, I like you. Since you're here, I think about you, quite a bit. But I have other thoughts, too. Other feelings go back before I ever saw you. I can't just forget about them. Toyka, he has no respect for you. Is that why you fought? Toyka, there's no light inside him. He's dark. You don't know him. What a tortured person he really is. I'll walk home, Todd. I don't want to think about you right now. As a child, I was considered the Czech prodigy on the east side. This move, uh, the triple backhand, never fails. Tell you what, spot your two checkers.
Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get some air. I want to do this myself. Big help you are. Not pity, not even hate. How about fear? The fear that you'll have to kill me to get me off your back. It's written all over you. The colonel was right. You can smell it. You're afraid to go too far, aren't you? I know all about you guys. The civilized, the humane, the thinkers, the feelers. With hooks in your brains. Words, ideas, knowledge, truth, honor, conscience. Every one of them's a stinking, burning hook. What happened to you, Carno? Listen to him. Listen to the man with his brains on a calf. What happened to me? Let me tell you, only one dagger to a hill, kill or be killed, right? You wonder about me. Maybe I'm not just a drunk on a beat-up boat. Maybe I'm not just a dark rat. I went to college. Your egghead. And then somebody came along with the slogan, make the world safe for democracy. So I put on a chute and a pair of jump boots. And there I was, the first Louis, with a platoon of paratroopers. D-Day dropped in the lowlands right in the middle of a swamp with Nazi guns on every point of the compass. One of my sergeants, brought in a prisoner, a colonel, one of the SS boys, I pressed my carbine into his stomach. I'm gonna count three, I said, either you lead us out of this swamp or you die in the mud. He laughed at me. I'd do that, he said, but you won't. I have no scruples, but you have, and you'd rather die than change them. Oh, you won't kill me. I just stood there. Defeated. Lost in his contempt. The Nazi guns opened up. And all my men, all of them killed except me because I held back. This 
Listen, see. Fields. A world full of animals. During the fight, the colonel got a gun and shot me in the back and left me in the swamp. And I've been there ever since. I'm at home there. And when I see the banner wavers, the bright, shiny, clean little boys like you, I just have to pull them in with me. Strawberry jam in a separate jar. And when you get ready to eat your peanut butter sandwiches, put the jam on them. And that way you the see... The bread that... won't get soggy. You keep an ear on your radio today. Bar winds northwesterly 20 knots. Swells from the northwest 9 feet, cresting every 10 seconds. Okay. The new life sound complicated, isn't it? 10 knots, 20 knots. It's all the same. You wouldn't want me to worry about every change in the wind. <laughs> Please, Tom. Stop saving me. Maybe I love him. I'm not sure, but... For you too. How can I feel that way about two men at the same time? Please don't let anything happen to either one of you. Promise me. I'll do the best I can, Tucker. No, no, promise me.
do it now. Beauty versus beast. The wrong the beast. You don't hate me, Carno, you hate yourself. You won't strike first, will you? I finally understand you, Carno. You made it, didn't you? You finally turned yourself into a brute. Is that the answer to what happened between you and the Colonel in the swamp? Brutality? That's no answer. There's no future in hate, Carno! Strength, yes. Conscience and compassion, that's the future, Carno.
did at the end of the war when the guns had stopped firing when it was so quiet that all you could hear were your own thoughts I looked up at the clouds and I knew that no man could pull them down and I felt the sea around me and I knew that no man could drain the sea I don't know, I... It, it's funny, but it, it... It felt good to be so small. And then all of a sudden I was big. Gigantic. I was born again. Executive Producer.